So, Shahab, God forbid, if you had to start from scratch yet again, <laughs> hopefully it will never have to happen. What would be some of the steps you would take during the first 90 days to set a foundation for a successful online business? Yes, that's a great question. Actually, uh, I teach a course around personal branding and getting clients, uh, especially it's meant for coaches, consultants, trainers, speakers. Uh, and uh, I have a step-by-step -step methodology for that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share some of that methodology with your audience. So the first step in my methodology, in my way of thinking, is to define your personal brand. So you have to stand for something. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to sell, whatever your product or service is, whatever type of business you have, first of all, you have to define your value proposition. So what do you do? Who do you serve? And how you're different? Those three questions are very important. Those three questions are the foundation of everything else that you do in marketing and sales. So if I were to start from scratch, once again, I wouldn't rush to do marketing or to have sales conversations. I would, first of all, define exactly what my personal brand was going to be. And again, by personal brand, I mean exactly defining who you are, who you serve, and how you're different. After that, I would go on, as I'm a coach slash consultant slash speaker, I would go on to do marketing strategies that work for coaches slash consultants slash speakers, because there's lots of advice out there, but not necessarily all of them work for your type of business. I mentioned I'm a coach slash consultant because there are some types of strategies, marketing strategies or sales tactics that work for coaches and consultants and speakers. And they do not necessarily work for somebody else who, who, who is a restaurant owner and vice versa. There are some strategies that work for restaurant owners that do not necessarily work for coaches. Um, over the past few years, I've uh, tried so many different strategies. You know, I've, I've implemented a lot of advice that I got from different business trainers or business coaches. Not all of them have worked for me. So I've tried SEO, I've tried email marketing, I've tried social media marketing, I've tried launches, I've tried live campaigns, and so on and so forth. Some of them do work for people in my type of business, for e.g. coaches and consultants, but some don't. So my point is, after you define your personal brand, go and find the marketing strategies that work in your specific industry. So if I were to start from scratch, after defining my personal brand, I would go on to do uh, things that work for coaches. For example, um, holding events, for example, having free one-to-one -one calls, for example, doing live launches, for example, uh, campaigns, like live campaigns on social media and email. Those are the things that work that have traditionally worked for coaches and they're, they still work right now. Maybe it will be different five years from now, but right now at this moment that we're talking, these are the strategies that work. So uh, I, if I were to start from scratch, I would definitely take those two steps. Shahab, and then if we go into a little more detail, what would you specifically do in terms of marketing? Yes. In those so 90 days. In, in, in my business, I've seen, uh, not only in my business, but in my successful clients' businesses, I've seen several things uh, really having impact. For example, uh, having one-to-one -one calls. A lot of people don't want to have uh, free calls with people. They say, I offer value. I'm, I'm a certified coach. I, I have degrees and certifications. I don't want to offer anything for free. But if you don't offer anything for free, people will not know who you are. They will not get to know, like, and trust you. So there is an element of uh, you know, overcoming your tendency to sell all the time, right? You, you have to be willing to offer samples of your work. So 
uh, just to give you so to give you specific details, I would definitely offer one-to-one -one free calls uh, to the extent that those calls make me, you know, busy enough. And then uh, maybe at that point I will close my, you know, calendar, right? But if if I were free all the time and I, if I were available, uh, and if I did not have enough clients, I would definitely offer one-to-one -one sessions. The other thing that I would definitely do uh, is to hold events. I've been in the events industry for a long, long time, 20 something years, in-person events, online events, all of them work, free, paid. Events are a really good way to scale your impact because when you're doing one-to-one -one calls, obviously you're talking to one person, but when you're doing events based on the number of people who attend, you can you get to impact a large number of people. The last event that I did, I had 27,000 people <laughs> sign up. It was a free event, but ju just think about it. 27,000 people were added to my email list. That's, that's fantastic. That's awesome. And, and not only that, 27,000 people got a lot of value and uh, you know, maybe a percentage of them changed their life because of that event. So definitely the second one would be events. And the third one that I've been uh, quite successful with uh, is to do live launches, live campaigns on social media and email. Uh, and, and by live launches, I mean a series of uh, promotional messages and uh, a series of ads over the course of a few days, for example, seven days, 10 days, or two weeks, that not only adds value to the audience by training them, teaching them, providing something of value to them, but also uh, have a deadline at the end so that people will act based on that deadline. So I love the idea of live launches. Uh, it provides value and at the same time creates a deadline and time pressure for people to act. And I've, I've, I've been using them effectively over the past few years. So uh, those would be my three go-to strategies in the first 90 days.